Our client today is an 87-year-old man named Ansel. He has osteoarthritis and has limited mobility in his feet and spine. He has been struggling with type 2 diabetes for 10 years. With his recent assessment, we discovered that he's 15 pounds overweight. He's been confined to his wheelchair and is losing his desire to partake in activities that he used to enjoy most. For now, we're going to focus on his medication to ensure that his physical comfort levels are stable. We will also discuss the idea for promoting mental and spiritual health. He takes regular glucose medicine and Motrin for his pain. Can you help me by administering his daily glucose and assessing his pain levels for his medications today? Yep, I'll get the meds. Great, thank you. Mm -hmm. Hi, Ansel. Hi. I'm Amy. I'm going to be your student nurse today. Okay. Take a camera, Jenny. Um, how are you doing? I'm all right. Thanks. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Um, how are you doing today? I'm okay. I'm, I'm up and down. What's troubling you? Well, you see, I'm very uncomfortable here. It's hard being in a place like this, and my wife died eight years ago today, and that's just hard. But my daughter is coming to visit, so that's something to look forward to. Yeah, it's great that she's coming. Um, have you enjoyed any of the activities in the facility today? Well, not today. I know that there's a, a game game time that you guys do, and I used to go to that, but I don't like being around all the old folk around here anymore, but... I am curious about the church that you guys have. Yeah, we do have a church here in the facility. Can you tell me anything else about that? Sure, we have it every day at 6 o'clock. Every day at 6? Can you remind me when that happens? Of course. Thank you. Um, I think it's time to give you your uh, medical insulin and your Motrin. Are you ready to take those? I'll take the insulin, but no Motrin for me. Uh, what's telling you that's not making you take the Motrin? You see, when you get to be 87 like myself, you don't want to lose control of many things, and you guys have pretty much taken everything, and the one thing that I have control over is my medication. It makes me more comfortable to have control over my life. Okay, well, I'll try again later uh, to give you your medication, but for now, is there anything else that I can get you? No, maybe some ice chips. Okay, I'll be right back with those. Thank you. <laughs> so, Amy, how did it go with Ansel today? He didn't want to take his medication. No, he didn't. Did he say why? He says that not being able to take his medication is something that we're dealing with and that he should have control of his own life. Mm -hmm. That's concerning because we want to make sure his physical comfort is as ideal as it can be. Maybe we can talk to him later today about a plan where he has a little more control over his medication. I think that's a good idea. In. Hi, Ansel. I'm Christine, and I'm going to be your nurse today. Hi, Christine. Hi. And Hi. Amy. Hi, Amy. <laughs> How are you doing today? I'm okay. Thanks for asking. Yeah. So, right now we're here to perform a quick spiritual assessment on you. Is that all right with you? Yeah, that sounds fine. Okay. So, the first question we have for you is, what gives you meaning in your life? Meaning. Well, I'd have to say that my children bring a lot of meaning into my life. I don't see them very often because they live far away from me. One of them visits sometimes, but I would say that when they are here, everything feels better. Aww, that's nice. Mm -hmm. um, what makes you happy? Well, not being here, I can tell you that. Um, I like to be outside and walking around, but it's hard to do that in my wheelchair. I need a lot of help these days. Okay. Um, what would you say one of your biggest accomplishments in life is? Oh, my wife. She was great. And all of our beautiful children and my beautiful family. I just wish I could see them all more. And I miss my wife, as you know. Yeah. That sounds special, mm -hmm. having your family. Yeah, very great. Um, what makes you comfortable and uncomfortable? Well... I like to be in my own space, and I like to have control over my life, as you know. Uh, being uncomfortable, I'd say, is just when other people try to do things for me. I'm very stubborn like that, and I like to do things on my own time when I want, and I get uncomfortable in this bed, too. It makes my back and my bones hurt, but it's all right. Okay, well, those are all the questions we have for you right now. Is there anything else we can get for you? No, I think I'm okay. Thank you. Okay, well, we'll be back in a little bit to talk with you again, okay? Okay, sounds good. Thanks.
Hey, Dad, how you doing? Hey, sweetheart, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Oh, I'm good. Thanks for coming to visit me. Of course, how have you been feeling? <clears throat> I'm alright, it's, it's okay here. Not you, the best. You don't like it here? I like it, it's just, it's hard getting used to. It's I, hard about it. I miss home, and I miss seeing you guys. Well, yeah. It's just not very comfortable. It's not very comfortable? Why not? Well, I can't do anything on my own. I have to call the nurses every time I want to go somewhere, and it's just a pain. Well, if I leave them under the shade, you look a little scruffy. Well, no. I don't have a razor. Have they offered you one? Well, no, I guess I just haven't asked. Maybe we should start with that today. Okay, that sounds good. Have you still been going to game night like you used to? No, no more game night. These old folk here aren't really my kind of crowd. But you used to love it. I know, it's just, it's hard getting up and getting out of bed when my bones hurt so much. Is there anything else that you've been wanting to do here? Well, they have a church here, and you know, I used to go with my mom and dad when I was young, and we used to take you kids, but I've kind of been losing touch with that. Yeah, well maybe we can talk to the nurse about that. Alright, well I'm gonna go out there for a second, I'll be back though. Okay. Okay. See ya. Oh, hi. Hey, are you guys my dad's nurses? Yeah, we are. Who are you? I'm his daughter. I just got here. Oh, it's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. I just have a few questions out of care. Yeah, go for it. So it seems like you haven't really been keeping up on his hygiene. He hasn't shaved. Doesn't look like he's shaved in a while. Yeah, we've been noticing that, and we've been trying to work on a plan to help him with his comfort and care. Okay, has he been taking his Motrin? He also seems like he's in a little bit of pain. No, we've been having trouble getting him to take that. But oh. we're working on something to get him. Yeah, he can be a little stubborn mm -hmm. sometimes. It's really no pain. It's important to his yeah. body. And he also mentioned that he wants to start attending a church somewhere around here. Yeah, we just talked with him at, this morning, and I actually have a pamphlet here if you want to give oh. it to him and go over it with him. Oh, cool. Is that just at the facility? Mm hmm. It's every day, and I believe it starts at 6. Okay, cool. Could someone, like, remind him about it, maybe? Of course, yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, it was nice meeting you. Nice to meet you, too. We should have seen Sarah. She started to walk. Aw, <laughs> what a cutie. Yeah, oh, Miss, you should have brought her to visit me. I know. Me. She's in danger. Oh, come in. Hello. Hi. We're back today. We're just going to do a quick pain assessment, okay? Okay. Uh, do you have any pain right now? Yeah, always. Can you tell me where the pain is? Well, my joints and my bones feel a little bit achy, and my feet are tingling for some reason. On a scale of 0 to 10, what's your pain level right now? 0 is nothing? Mm -hmm. Oh, definitely like a 5. Okay, and what would be a tolerable pain level for you to reach? Oh, I wish I had no pain, but I'd say maybe a 2. Okay, and can you tell me what kind of pain it is? Is it a dull pain, aching pain? It's a achy, tingly pain. And how long have you had this pain? Oh, my whole life, sweetheart. I don't know what to tell you. It's just recurring all the time. I guess probably because I didn't take my Motrin, but all okay. day. We'll make sure we day. get to your comfortable level, okay? Okay. Okay, I'm just going to do a quick uh, feet assessment, okay? Okay. Uh, are you losing feeling in your feet? Yeah. Okay, so I'll make sure we get back to that later on. Okay. And just looking in your environment, it seems like it's all pretty clean and has everything you need. Is there anything that can make it more comfortable? No, I think I've got everything I need here. Okay, that's good. Okay, so we've come up with a little bit of a plan to go over with you. Is that all right? Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Okay, so we want to make sure that your physical, psycho-spiritual, uh, socio-cultural comfort is all in line, just so we can keep you as comfortable as possible. Does that sound good? Yeah, to you? I do like being comfortable. So we're going to try and implement that by um, having you participate in more facility activities, uh, communi communicating better with your children, and adhering to your medication schedule and helping you with that for you. Okay. And um, we're just going to like keep track of this. We'll just check in with you every so often just to make sure and see if there's anything we can kind of help you with. And some things that we want to do to help you with this are um, we want to come up with a better way for you to manage your pain so that you can have more control over when you're taking your motion and that kind of stuff. So we'll make up some sort of schedule for you. Okay. And then we want to um, 
see if there's any other spiritual things we can do for you. I don't know if you're interested in prayer or meditation, but we we talk about how the chaplain can talk with you to get your blood work. And then we want to um, see if there's anything you can do to help facilitate you talking with your children. We'd be happy to help you by showing you videos like FaceTime or Skype, because I know your children are in LA. Mm -hmm. So anything like that. Does that sound good to you? It sounds great. I would love all of those. Okay, perfect. Well, we'll get started on that and get back to you on the plan. Okay, thank you. Thank you.